What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. All right, so everybody this morning has been talking about these numbers right here. These numbers, the Marvels, their Rotten Tomato scores, especially that audience score, because, you know, we talk about the audiences over the critics. Yeah, sitting at 85 percent. Everybody's, yeah, see the audience. The audience is saying this film is great. Ha 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 ha. All you haters out there. Well, look, um, the numbers that matter to Marvel, especially to Marvel, aren't these numbers. Don't get it twisted. They care about these numbers. But here's the numbers Marvel cares about. Yeah, this is the number that Marvel cares about. The Marvel's hovering at a 6.6 .6 million Thursday night. And look, this $6.6 .6 million that they made is not good. Not good at all when you consider how much money they spent on this and how much they are going to need for this film to even break even and pay for itself. This is not good whatsoever. And let me give you an idea of how bad this number really is. All right, so this is the Black Adam Thursday number, okay? 7.6 million, all right? So that's how much Black Adam made in its Thursday night preview runs, and we know what a flop Black Adam was. Same thing with The Flash, right? The Flash made $9.7 million on its Thursday preview night. And again, The Flash is a humongous flop. So if Flash is making $9.7 million, and then Black Adam is making $7.6 million, what does 6.6 .6 million mean for the Marvel? Man, this thing is about to be a humongous flop. At least unless it has amazing legs, which I don't know if these cats over here think that uh, this little 85% score is speaking volumes for how people really feel about this. This tells me a lot. This tells me, number one, that this is the audience that Marvel clearly made this thing for. Whoever went out there, watched it, and liked it, and they said, hey, it's great. I'm going to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Well, they need y'all to go out there and watch this movie about 50 more times in order for them to get their money, all right? Because nobody's checking for this film whatsoever. The apathy across the entire cinematic uh, going experience, everybody that goes to movies, the apathy is palpable. You can almost feel the apathy. Nobody cares about this movie. We're talking about it because that's what our channel does. We talk about films, good, bad, or whatever, you know, and I do have some positive things out there, but this is so negative that you can't help but just kind of shine a light on it and say, what in the world is going on? The Marvel Cinematic Universe used to be the thing to do. Man, a Marvel movie is coming out, man. Everybody's flocking to the theaters. Like, let me show you this article. So Collider wrote this article, right? The shilliest of all shills in the media. Uh, the Marvel's poised to deliver one of the lowest domestic box office debuts in MCU history. And see, they go through this thing talking about, yeah, it didn't do that well. Uh, the 6.6 .6 million in Thursday previews. It's on course for a three-day domestic total in the $40 million to $50 million range. Anything below $55 million would put it at rock bottom for MCU releases below uh, 2008's Incredible Hulk, which made $2 million in previews at a time when they began at midnight. The Marvels, on the other hand, started screening at three in the afternoon. Yeah. So if it gets below 55 million and there's a very good chance that it will um it's going to be the lowest thing that the mcu has ever produced and keep in mind uh 2008 when the incredible hulk dropped and it only did 55 million dollars in its opening weekend like that's when tickets were super cheap you know I, I i mean like half of what they are now at least it also says that the movie would fall short of the 71 million dollars and 75 million dollar debuts mid pandemic releases for the internals and shang chi that's tr that's just tragic that's how bad this film is. Again, nobody's checking for this thing whatsoever. Yeah, it says it's going to have an opening weekend in the same range as DC's Flash, which remains one of the biggest bombs in superhero cinema history. But even that movie grossed almost 10 million in Thursday previews, which we just saw. Yeah, but see, here's the list. The comparison of the Thursday previews, and they just have a sample in the movies here. And you can see Iron Man, the original, uh, opened up on Thursday, 3.5 million. But again, this is back when Thursday night previews was at midnight. So, like, how many people were really showing up at midnight to go watch? You know, I mean, it's not a lot, okay? Most people went and saw it on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. They didn't watch the Thursday midnight showings. You know, not a lot of people did that. And it still did 3.5 million back then, okay? So consider that piece of it as well. It still did like nearly half of what the Marvels did. And the Marvels was out at three in the afternoon. That's when I went to see it. I went to see it at three o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday. 
So yeah, it's just a, it's just hilarious. And then you can see all of these other ones. Again, this is what Marvel used to be. This is what we knew Marvel to be. All right, sixty million, fifty million, twenty-five million, and Thursdays. You know, big numbers. All right. I think even Ant Man and the Wasp, uh, Quantum Mania was up in it. Where did that do? And yeah, yeah, seventeen point five million. Quantum Mania earned seventeen point five million in Thursday previews. That's a good number. That's a good number. That's a solid number. And I believe it did over 100 million in its total opening weekend. That's where Marvel wants to be. You know, again, we're looking at about half of that right now. And look, 17.5 is solid right here. OK, that puts it in the Avengers territory and Avengers did pretty well. Now, obviously, Mania didn't get nowhere near this overall. But again, this is where you want to start. This is showing you, OK, this movie is starting out right where we want it to be. This is a great opening weekend. That's where you want it. The Marvels, you know, coming in at this uh, this 6.6. Yeah, nah, sir. No, sir. This ain't what they wanted at all. This is the number that Marvel cares about. So, yeah, all of you cats over here, uh, the 85 percent of y'all that gave this thing a positive uh, score. Yeah, y'all need Marvel going to need y'all to turn up. All right. Marvel's like, hey, man, can y'all turn up? Hey, hey, watch this about four, five more times, you know, and, and all of y'all and bring some friends with you. OK, because it don't look like we're going to do too good with this thing. And listen, this is the whole point that I've been making. All right. When you spending the amount of money that Marvel is spending on these films, you need to know who your audience is. Who is this film made for? These cats right here, this little 85 percent. Yeah, all they dropped in here and did was about this six point six. You need these cats to turn up. And obviously they didn't because it, otherwise it would be a lot bigger. So 85 percent, you guys can crow about this score all you want to. I don't care about that. Ultimately, what's going to happen is this 85 percent. They saw it. They're done. They're not going back to see it a second or a third time at all. They'll, and everybody else will be like, all right, cool. I'll just wait for it on Disney+. Plus. I'll watch it the moment it drops on Disney+. Plus. I'm there. But Marvel just spent $270 milli on this joint. They spent $270 million, and they spent another probably $100 million on marketing. So you're probably looking at somewhere in the range of $740 million that this thing needs to make in order for it to just break even. Just to break even. And if you don't know who your audience is, like, how do you justify spending two hundred and seventy million dollars and you don't know if people are about to come and watch this thing? You don't know what you're doing. You're only getting six point six million dollars in Thursday previews. You're spending all of this money and this is all you're coming away with. And then, OK, well, let's say the international uh, folks, the international ain't going to feel this either. And so it's like, what where what are you spending your money on right now, Marvel? And why? What is this? This is ideology. You said, hey, man, we got to have a girl boss, super girl power, you know, movie. OK, let's go ahead and do that. And fine. Hey, if it works for people and people want to go out there and throw all of their money into it, fine. But it obvious nobody nobody's checking for this. And you just dropped 270 million plus whatever you spent on marketing in order to make it and then throw it out there to the theaters for this thing to just land with a giant thud. Man, that has to hurt, man. Are you kidding me? That has to hurt. That has to just feel like deep down in your soul. You made a movie that nobody gave a damn about. And so here's this is the, this is the point that I'm trying to get all of you cats to understand. It's not hate. It's cor it's corrective criticism. Correcting what your mistakes are is what we're trying to do. Hey, stop making mistakes like this. You know, you want to make the Marvels, you got a hard on for these chicks or whatever. No, no sexual puns intended there. But you really want to make like a girl boss super movie. OK, go and do that. Just don't spend two hundred and seventy million dollars on it unless you know the audience is going to be there. Unless you know you're going to be able to get a Billy back for that. Because if you spend on over, in my opinion, you spend over two hundred and fifty million on a movie. You better be getting a Billy back for that joint, man. You better be bringing back a billion dollars. Otherwise, you're just like, what are you doing? You probably could have made that same amount of money spending far less. So that's the point. You know, Five Nights at Freddy's goes out there, spends $20 million. It's probably going to outdo this thing in its opening weekend. That, that, you understand what I'm saying? Because they know who their audience is and they're attracting those people. And meanwhile, Marvel is over here dumping $270 million into this girl boss crap that nobody's watching and nobody cares about. The, the, the interest in the MCU has completely dried up. This is what happens when you don't have Endgame and Infinity War bookending your movie. 
This is what happens. This is how popular this crap was. Your ideology has failed. Your ideology has ran into reality. Reality didn't care about this. That's the point that I'm trying to make. So people got to understand we're not just hating just because we're haters. We're trying to give some correction to this company that's, you know, that we care about. We actually want to get, see good comic book films. And these cats are just dropping the ball. And so, again, understand that's where it's all from. So the hee hee ha ha. Yeah, we point out this stuff and we laugh at the critics being super shills. The critics aren't helping them. Be critical. Tell them this is trash. OK. And the, and the people out there, hey, man, don't be calling it trash. Look, I didn't say it was the worst thing I ever saw in my life. I didn't t call it like toxic sewer waste. I just said it's trash. OK, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen in my life, but it's trash. OK, so I'm again, I'm going to be as honest as possible when it comes to this stuff. But yeah, the box office is a giant disaster. And look, is Marvel going to learn anything from this? Hey, man, we got to slow. This. We ain't spending money for nothing. What are we doing here? Bob Iger got to just be sitting there like, damn, Kev, another one, huh? Just, boy, bro, you need to come pull back and figure out what's going on over there. You used to be a money printing machine. Now you're giving us this trash. Yeesh, man. But anyway, folks, y'all let me know what you think, man. Again, I'm just going to keep it a buck. I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. I'm going to tell you exactly the way I see it. The writing, the acting was just subpar all the way. This was a trash movie. Again, nobody's going to go out and watch this and the... You know, this is indicative of what's going on with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Let's just call it like we see it. That's where the Marvel Cinematic Universe is right now. It's sitting at this pos this position with a whole bunch of shills and happy-go-lucky audience people. But but nobody's going to watch this crap. And that's the bottom line, all right? But you guys let me know what you think. Jump down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions on that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.